Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your Chromebook set up to let you create your very own video games. So today we are going to be installing the Godot game engine. Godot is a completely free video game engine that lets you develop professional quality 2D and 3D games for multiple platforms. Through its Linux port, we can use it to develop games on a Chromebook. I went with Godot because it's very lightweight. Installing Godot on my Chromebook only took up less than 200 megabytes. Extremely helpful if you have a Chromebook with very limited storage like I do. So let's go ahead and start the process now. First, let's go through the requirements. This tutorial is for Chromebooks with Intel processors. These instructions might not work if you have a Chromebook with an ARM processor. But, there is one installation method I speak about that might work on ARM Chromebooks, but I can't confirm it. The second and final requirement you'll need is Linux installed on your Chromebook. If you haven't yet installed Linux, check out my video on how to install it. There are two ways to install Godot. The easiest way is to open up a terminal and type sudo at get install Godot3. Keep in mind that newer Godot versions will probably have a different command. When the installation is done, open up your app launcher and click on the Godot icon. For ARM Chromebook owners, this method is the best way to see if there is a package available for you. I don't have an ARM Chromebook, so I'm not able to confirm this. But since Godot is open source, you should be able to download the source and compile an ARM version for yourself. But that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. Also, this method will not install the latest version of Godot. Getting the latest version involves more steps, but it's still very easy. Let's go through the second method of installing Godot for Intel Chromebooks. This method will also get you the latest version. Open up a Chrome browser and go to go.engine.org. Click on the download link. Then click on the Linux tab. There is a standard version and a mono version. The standard version only uses Godot's custom scripting language. The mono version will allow you to use C Sharp in addition to Godot's custom language. I do C Sharp development, so I will select the 64 bit mono version. A download will start. When it's done, extract the contents of the zip file to an empty directory on your Linux files area. After that, open up a terminal and navigate to the folder that you extracted the files to. We now need to set the file that ends in .64 as executable in order to run Godot. If not, we will just get an error. Set it as executable by typing chmod plus x and the name of the file. Now the file is executable. To finally run Godot, type dot forward slash and the name of the file. Godot will now open. Let's try out some sample projects now. When we first open Godot, you will be asked if you want to download any of the example projects available. We want to do this, so click on Open Asset Library. Some sample projects will now load. There are a lot, but I'm only going to check out two. Let's first try out this 2D platformer demo by clicking on its name. In this screen, you will get a description of the project and the option to download it. Click on the download button. The download progress will be shown at the bottom. And when the download is done, an install button will appear. Click on that install button. Now we must specify an empty folder to install the project to. Go ahead and create any folder you want by clicking on the browse button and navigating to your desired location. Then click on the select current folder button. You can also click on create folder here to quickly create a folder with the project's name in the selected path. Now click install and edit to load up the project. We are now in the editor where you will be creating games. This project is a 2D project, and if you want to run it, you just click on the play button on the top right of the screen. And I'm now able to play the game. I'm currently using the keyboard, and unfortunately, 
I can't test the gamepad because Linux on Chrome OS does not support them yet. However, I can export a Windows or Android build and test the gamepad there. And here I am playing the sample project on my Android phone using a Bluetooth gamepad. The game feels very responsive and has an old school feel to it. Let's now try out a 3D sample project. I download a 3D version of the 2D platformer project. You run it the same exact way. Just click on the play button. So on my Chromebook, this game runs choppy. Probably because the specs on my Chromebook are pretty weak. But it runs really smooth on my PC. And also on my Android phone. And that's it. You're ready to develop games on your Chromebook. Godot is a very capable game engine. Just because it's free does not mean it's very simple. You can develop games that look just like the classic 8 and 16 bit games of the past, but you can also create beautiful looking 3D games. Just use your imagination to create whatever you want. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.